Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube, and today I'm going to bring you guys a review of the Altian Nuki Smart Lock. Now, I've had my eyes on a Smart Lock for a really long time, and I've been doing a lot of research on these over the last couple of years. And the thing up until about three weeks ago that had stopped me buying a Smart Lock was the fact that in the UK we have a lot of multi point locks. Now these are typically doors that you have to kind of lift to lock and also doors that you have to pull down to open that last little bit for. And when it comes to smart locks, the majority of smart locks are not compatible with this kind of door. And what this leaves you with is two options. It leaves you with the Yale Connexus L1 or L2, which are very, very similar to each other, or it leaves you with the Altian Nuki. In order to be completely transparent, it does also leave you with the Nuki as well, but the Altian Nuki is a much better way of fitting one of these in your home. And I'll talk more about that and why in this video. And if like me you're someone who uses HomeKit all the time, this actually only leaves you with one option and that is the Nuki Smart Lock. And I know if you Google you can see that Yale have come out and said they are working on HomeKit support for their Connexus locks. However, they've been saying this for about three years and so I'm not sure if it's ever going to happen. And you certainly shouldn't buy a product based on the promise of something that's going to come. So with its HomeKit compatibility, that led to me going for the Altian Nuki. And the Altian Nuki is a partnership between two companies, a company Altian and the company Nuki. Now Altian are primarily a lock company and they make super strength cylinder locks for doors. Nuki, on the other hand, are one of the leading brands in making smart locks. This means the Altian Nuki is really two products. It's a new handle for the inside of your door manufactured by Altian along with one of their super secure cylinders and it's the Nuki 3.0 smart lock. Now I've been using this smart lock for around three weeks and this is my review of it. And I want to start off by talking about price. Now smart locks are not cheap. If you do just want to replace your home door cylinder, you can usually do this for about £20 just by popping down to your local DIY store. The Altian Nuki, however, comes in at £260 without a hub. Now, if you're just planning to use it with the Nuki app when you're in Bluetooth range or with Apple HomeKit, then actually you don't need the hub. And this is because Apple lets you use something like an Apple TV or a HomePod mini as your smart home hub. This gives you access to your home devices when you're not at home. If however you're an Android user and you want out of home access or maybe you want to use Amazon's Alexa or Google Voice Assistant then you are going to need the extra hub as well. Now the Nuki Bridge gives you access to out of home as well as those voice assistants and the Nuki API. The bridge however will set you back £89. Now I'm not going to talk about that much in this video, I am making a whole separate review for that bridge which will be up on this channel in a couple of weeks, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see that review. There's also a load of accessories you might buy at the same time as purchasing the Altian Nuki. You might buy something like a fob or a keypad as well. Now I didn't go for either of these because primarily I wanted to use it with my phone. Now if we continue to talk about pricing, if you look at the Nuki 3.0 on its own it retails at about £150. This leaves the question, well what do you get for the extra £110 you spend on the £260 Altian Nuki? And really there's two answers to this. So firstly you get a 3 star plus Altian lock with 3 spare keys. Now Altian are pretty quiet about pricing on this, but if you look on eBay you can find them for around £50. Now if you're a UK user just thinking, well why don't I just buy the Nuki anyway, the majority of users are going to need a new cylinder. This is because they must be cylinders that can be opened from both sides even if a key is in one of the other sides. Nuki's own extra cylinder costs £80. And then the second thing you get from Altian is the Altian handle. This is a white metal handle crafted perfectly to fit the Nuki smart lock. This is just for the inside of your door and doesn't just make fitting easy but also makes it look good at the end. All in all that brings you to the £260 price mark which costs roughly the same as the Yale Connexus. So let's talk about design. So the Altian handle itself is beautifully crafted and made of metal. And this means whilst you still have a white box sticking out of your door because of a Nuki, actually it all kind of blends seamlessly into one. The Nuki 3.0 itself has a modern looking design and blends in really nicely, especially on white doors like mine. The bottom of it has space to put batteries and it takes four AA batteries. It has a rounded indicator light that goes around a button and it's also got a twist feature on there as well. These can be found on the front of the lock. From the outside it just looks like a normal front door and all we can see is that Altian 3 star plus cylinder. This is great because unlike things like the Yelka Nexus it's not showing off to people you've got a fancy smart lock. It also means you can still open your front door with a key. This is great if battery life was to run out or if you've got family members who are less tech savvy. Personally I think this is the best approach to smart locks because it takes away the whole thing about showing off that you've got a fancy smart lock as well as allowing you to easily get in where the battery is to run out. So let's continue talking about the spec of this device and of course this is largely around the Nuki 3.0 because the Altian stuff is just hardware. So the Nuki 3 connects via Bluetooth 5 and if you want out of home monitoring you'll need something like Apple HomeKit or the Nuki Bridge. 
all communication from Anuki is end-to-end -end encrypted with challenge response. This basically equates to it being as secure as online banking. The Nuki 3.0 comes in white and it takes four AA batteries. Now battery life is always gonna vary depending on how much you use a device like this. Nuki, however, say you should get six months battery life out of those four AA batteries. Now I've been using this for three weeks and it's only gotten down to 96%. And so I think I might actually get a bit more out of it. When battery level is getting low, you'll get a notification to remind you to replace those batteries, which is really useful for making sure you can't get locked out without a key. If you like the idea of rechargeable batteries, Nuki do a custom recharge pack that costs £49. This still gives you six months of battery life. Out of the box, the Nuki 3.0 works with Apple HomeKit and it works with the Nuki app. If you want Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant support, then you're going to need to get that Nuki Bridge as well. It is compatible with both Apple and Android thanks to the smartphone apps. And finally, it's also compatible with a whole range of door handles. This includes things like Euro Profile, Swiss Round Profile, Oval UK and doors require pulling up to lock and also pulling down to do that last little unlock. So how easy is the Ultian Nuki to fit? Now Ultian claim that you can fit this in 10 minutes. And if you watched my video from a couple of weeks ago, you'll know that it actually took me closer to 20. Now this was because I had to make some of the holes on my door a little bit bigger in the process. But ultimately because of that crafted handle setup is really simple. And this is so much so that the Ultian setup video on their website lasts less than a minute. Once you've got it all installed, the process of calibrating the lock is done in the Nuki app, and this is also really simple. From there, you can also do things like set up HomeKit and set up various automations and settings as well. So let's move on to talk about how this lock actually works. So the most important thing to say if you're watching this from a kind of multi-point lift to lock door perspective is that there is no smart lock out there that can lift your door handle for you. And so you're still going to need to lift that handle in order for the lock to be able to lock your door. However, that is the only manual action you need to do. From there, there are a whole variety of ways you can use this smart lock. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to largely focus on HomeKit and Nuki because those are the ways that I use it. So when it comes to unlocking your door, you can just twist the inside if you're on the inside of your house. You can also twist this the other way in order to lock it. There's also the option to push the button on the device as well from the inside. Now this button can take two different commands. It can take a single press and a double press, and you can customize these in the Nuki app. One of the nice features for the double press is a lock and go feature. This allows you to double tap it, which will unlock your door and then give you 20 seconds to get out and lift the handle up and it will automatically lock it. Now this time can be customized in the Nuki app if you want to as well. You can also easily lock the door using the Nuki app and also using your home app on your iPhone. Now by default, if you do have this set up with HomeKit, then you will get a notification that tells you when the lock is locked and unlocked. This is an Apple feature for security devices, but you can switch off this notification if you don't want it. This is done in the device settings in your home app. Personally, the way I tend to lock this door is using the home app. One of the things I've created is a Siri shortcut that lives on the bottom left of my Apple Watch, and I can just tap that when I go to leave the house. Of course, HomeKit also gives you options to a whole variety of automations. This includes automations when the last person leaves the house or when anyone leaves the house. So maybe you set up your lock to lock when the last person leaves. Weirdly, the Nuki app itself doesn't actually offer a geolocation to lock feature. So let's talk about unlocking the door. Now, for the most part, you can unlock the door in exactly the same way that you can lock it. This is true for being able to twist it from the inside and also being able to press that button. The addition is that from the outside, you can also unlock it with a good old fashioned key. The Nuki app also has a feature where it will unlock the door automatically when you get home. This works based on geolocation and also Bluetooth connection. This even unlocks the door that last little bit if you've got a latch that needs to drop in order to be able to get in. After an amount of time you can customise any app, but typically three seconds, it will then pull that little latch back up so your door will shut properly. This tends to be the way I use the Nuki 3.0 when I get home, and I found that this works absolutely perfectly every time. I also think this is the best way to unlock the door. If you're an Apple user using HomeKit, you can also set up something like this in the Home app. However, it's worth saying that when it comes to HomeKit geolocation options, when it involves things like smart locks, they actually require your permission to run. This adds an extra step and means that the Nuki app actually does this better. Another way you might want to unlock it is using the Nuki app. You can also use the Nuki app just to drop that catch that last little bit. For example, if you've just popped out to the shops and you didn't want to lock the door, or maybe you just popped out in front to sort out your bin day. Now this last little open feature rather than unlock feature doesn't exist in Apple HomeKit because of the way Apple configures locks. If you've got the bridge, you can create some Siri shortcuts and people on the Nuki forums have created Siri shortcuts that you can access yourself and use that for. If you haven't got a bridge, you can set up a Siri shortcut that does this and there's also home screen widgets for doing this. And then the final thing we should talk about when it comes to this smart lock is sharing access. 
Now, if you're a home user, you'll know that you can give other people access to your home via the Home app on an iPhone. Now, this is a great feature, but it does give people access to your entire home, not just specific devices. This means the best place to share with other people is with the Nuki app. One of the best things about sharing access via the Nuki app is you can limit the days and times people can actually access your lock. This is useful if maybe you've got a dog walker who only ever comes between 9 and 11 every morning, because you can then limit their access to those times. Now, the other party who is sharing access will need to download the Nuki app. But of course, maybe you've got a keypad accessory or a fob, or maybe you've even just got a spare key and you use that for your guests instead. And this is one of the nice things about having a physical key on the outside is you can still share access in the kind of traditional way. And then in terms of the rest of the Nuki app, it's pretty well thought out. You can easily navigate to your devices. You've got the option of home screen widgets and Siri shortcuts. There's also an Apple Watch app as well. And then finally, for what I know has been a very long review, I want to talk about the ways that I use this every single day. So when it comes to getting home, I use the Nuki app geolocation feature to auto unlock. This means as soon as I approach my door, it unlocks for me. This is seamless and I found it works well every time. When it comes to lock-in, I do actually have a Apple home automation set up for when the last person leaves. However, in terms of peace of mind of knowing that it actually locks rather than waiting for me to go a distance from home, what I tend to do is use the shortcut on my watch or use the double tap of a button to lock and go. Again, both of these work well every single time, although there is a very small delay when using the shortcut. So all in all, is the Ultian Nuki worth it? Now I got a smart lock because I wanted to be able to ditch my keys, but also monitor my home and know whether it was locked or not. This means if there's a time when maybe I've forgotten to lock it, I can make sure it is locked. And if like me and many other people in the UK, you've got a multi-point lock, this is one of basically two options you can have. And having done a lot of research, when you line it up against the Yale Connexus, this is really the one that you want to pick. It's really simple to fit, it works with Apple HomeKit, and it's just really well thought out. And for this particular product, the Ulti and Nuki, that combination gives you an easy to fit smart lock that looks great. And of course, it makes it compatible with a lot of UK doors where other smart locks aren't. And then finally, that partnership gives you the bonus of a super secure cylinder for your smart lock. Now, if you guys want to pick one up, I have put links below. There are two different options to pick depending on the thickness of your door. I've also put links below to the various accessories. If you guys have got any questions, do stick them below. This is a product I purchased for myself to use for my home. So if you've got any questions, I will try and answer those for you. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys again soon.